Hi there! Human activities are extricably linked with water, and most often we manage to coexist peacefully with each other. But sometimes, there are powerful technological floods and sudden water breakthroughs, which we will tell you about in this issue. A Breakthrough at a Hydro Power Plant On August 17, 2009, the frantic pressure of water at the cyano shushinskaya Hydro Power Plant threw a 2,000-ton rotor of the hydraulic unit off as if it was nothing and created hell inside the engine room. Water burned generators, drowned people, smashed turbines into smithereens, scattering pieces of metal all around. Short circuits disabled all hydraulic units, the generation and supply of electricity stopped, the automation stopped, and the hydro power plant seemed to be doomed. People screamed, trying to save themselves, but the raging elements did not let them go, sucking them into deadly whirlpools. Absolute darkness enveloped this entire scene, but among them, there were those who did not give up and challenge the elements. In complete darkness, they began to climb up the crest of the 800-foot dam. They manually lowered the emergency shutters and were able to stop the deadly flow of water. The dam was saved, but they won the victory at a high price, killing 75 people and 400 tons of trout due to 40 tons of engine oil spilled into the river. The amount of damage and restoration work amounted to more than $1.5 billion. California Dam Breakthrough In February 2017, residents of settlements below the Oroville Reservoir miraculously escaped mortal danger. They were awakened by an automatic emergency warning system built into their smartphones. These people that were barely awake were given only 30 minutes to urgently evacuate due to a threat of flooding caused by heavy rains and melting snow. The dam could not cope with the all-flowing streams of water that overflowed the reservoir. The main spillway was damaged, a ravine formed in the concrete gutter, which became more and more. Due to the threat of a breakthrough, the main spillway was closed, which forced them to use others which had not been used for more than 50 years, but it turned out to be faulty. And then, water began to overflow over the edge of the dam. Hundreds of thousands of tons of water fell down from a great height. Raging streams mixed with trees, stones, and mud and washed away the road and changed the slope, and it became a bed of mountain rivers. Helicopters dropped bags of stones, trying to strengthen the breakthrough and direct water away from settlements. In order to avoid a tragedy, 200,000 people were evacuated from nearby settlements. Only by fortuitous chance did the dam resist the pressure of the elements, but the refusal to modernize it could lead to disaster. Breakthrough of a Dam in Colombia And here is another case where negligence and carelessness of workers led to disastrous consequences. In Colombia, a breakthrough of the dam which occurred due to errors in the construction of the hydro power plant was recorded on video. The video shows how people run away from the powerful stream of water that has made its way through the tunnel and then the elements absorb the equipment. Tens of thousands of people had to evacuate after the Cauquio River broke through its drainage tunnel. About 600 people lost their homes, two bridges, two schools, and a hospital were also destroyed. However, during this disaster, not a single death was recorded, which is very pleasing. According to experts, the accident became possible because of gross mistakes that were made during the construction of the hydro power plant. In addition, torrential rains that swept through Colombia in recent days greatly increased the water level in the river. Dam Breakthrough in Canada In the spring of 2019 in Canada, a massive flood occurred. In the provinces of Quebec, New Brunswick, and Ontario, 20,000 apartment buildings flooded. More than 12,000 people were evacuated. Bridges and roads were flooded. The only way to get around was by boat. In some places, the water level reached six and a half feet. Rescuers and the military built temporary dams. Sandbags were handed out to everyone to protect their property from flooding. In Quebec, a dam was broken. Water poured into the Lake of Two Mountains on the Ottawa River and it overflowed. The flood was so rapid that the locals left home not having time to take personal items. Police began a rescue operation in which firefighters, military, and volunteers took part. 
With the help of three boats and an amphibious all-terrain vehicle, 6,500 people were evacuated. People were placed in temporary points of stay and shelters. Thanks to the coordinated actions of the police, firefighters, and volunteers, people were saved. In September 2017, an abnormal amount of precipitation fell in the Chinese province of Shanxi, resulting in severe flooding. Torrential rains did not stop in the city for several days in a row. The rain flooded the river, the dam could not stand it, and collapsed. During the disaster, several cities were flooded. Meteorological services had warned several times about the highest red danger level. Chinese authorities evacuated 27,000 people from areas threatened by flooding and landslides. People were accommodated in hotels and schools. As a result of the disaster, at least 10 people were killed and several more reported missing. The flood damaged 2,000 buildings and structures and flooded 12,000 hectares of farmland and fertile land. In some areas, people were left without electricity and communications. A total of 150,000 people suffered from the disaster. In the southeast part of Laos, there was just a monstrous disaster. An unfinished dam broke through, which was a part of a major energy project. As a result of the breakthrough, a powerful stream of water washed away six villages and destroyed thousands of houses. Hundreds of people are missing. More than 40 people were killed. Almost 7,000 people were left without housing. A total of 5 billion cubic meters of water fell on the province. This volume of water is equal to 2 million Olympic-sized pools. In the picture from the scene, we see that the settlement near the dam is completely flooded. Only the roofs of houses are visible. Trying to get out of the disaster zone, women walk several miles in knee or even waist-deep dirty water with their children in their arms. The exact cause of the breakthrough is unknown. Lately, it has been raining heavily in the region, which was probably the main cause of the flood. The construction of the dam began in 2013 and was supposed to be completed in 2019. Its cost is estimated at $1 billion. There are 10 dams in Laos and as many are under construction. As for the construction of the dam system, environmental organizations have repeatedly expressed their concerns and not in vain. This led to a terrible disaster and it can happen again. Mississippi River Breakthrough Another flood was recorded on a camcorder in Davenport, Iowa. We see on April 30th, 2019, a temporary dam of sandbags, and literally right before our eyes, it breaks through the waters of the Mississippi River. Water slowly fills the area, but people are in a panic and try to run away as far as possible, and they even leave their cars. But not in vain, because in just a few minutes, the square turned into a lake on which cars cannot drive. After some time, the water reached five feet. People were evacuated in boats. Many could not leave their homes, offices, and shops. Some were waiting on their rooftops for rescue to arrive. Looking at this picture, there is a feeling that we get that we are looking at a Hollywood disaster type movie. The streets are completely flooded. Abandoned cars are flooded. I can't even believe that such a small breakthrough of water can flood an entire city. On Lake Dunlap in Texas, an epic dam breakthrough. The huge concrete slab was lifted by a powerful stream of water and was thrown up like a paper boat. The violent waters of the lake seemed to rebel and cast off the shackles holding them back. Nothing could stop the raging streams of water bursting into the opening of a rotten spillway, which has served 90 years. No matter how perfect the design, sooner or later it will fail especially if it is not repaired, which is what happened here in Texas. According to preliminary estimates, the repair of the spillway will cost $35 million, but the authorities cannot find the means to replace all outdated locks, so the fate of the lake seems to be a foregone conclusion. Heavy flooding in Utah. The United States literally attracts disasters. Due to the heavy rainfall in the city of Hilldale, Utah, a devastating flood occurred, which killed 20 people. They could not resist the elements. Dirty water quickly rushed forward, not stopping at anything and demolished everything that came in its way. Not trees, nor cars, nor people could resist the powerful stream. 
The streets of the city were flooded with mud. Hundreds of houses were flooded. People had to call rescuers to be evacuated from their blocked cars. Several cars were completely washed away with water. The raging waters picked up cars of unhappy travelers and sent them downstream on their waves. Having sailed a little bit forward, the cars stopped in the shallow waters and people immediately rushed to them. Fortunately, they managed to find several surviving people there. Pipe Breakthrough in Kiev, Ukraine An accident occurred during scheduled testing of a heating system. A pipe filled with boiling water was broken. The video shows how the asphalt exploded under the powerful pressure of the water, scattering pieces of asphalt, rubble, and dirt in all directions. The water pipe explosion damaged cars in a multi-story building. The windows were broken down all the way to the seventh floor. Fortunately, nobody was injured. There was a kindergarten school in the same building, but the children were evacuated in a timely manner. As public service officials say, it's impossible to predict where the breakthrough will occur before testing. Every summer, water supply organizations diagnose the pipeline using strong pressure. They check for its stability for use, and where a breakthrough occurs, they repair it. This method is widely used because it is the cheapest, but as you can see, it is unsafe. There are other ways to diagnose pipes that do not endanger human lives, but unfortunately in the Ukraine, they are not willing to use it. And that's all for today. Put like if you like this video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.